together now, together. Happy birthday to you. Okay, thank you all for coming and being a part of this celebration and, and my 55th birthday. You are all special people to me and you have all had a part in making my life and my career. I can't believe I'm reading this, but I didn't want to screw it up. <laughs> life is short and it all goes by so quickly. And there are a few times where you can just simply say thank you. T tonight is one of those moments. Okay, let's go to page three. I moved here in 1979 and started my career with the late George Christensen in 1982. And in fact, Diane Kleber is standing, I believe, right there. She's the person who called me in 1982 and said that I got the job. And she has been my friend and follower and supporter for all those years. And so I'm really, really happy that you're here tonight. That means a lot to me. And now I've spent another fantastic 16 years designing homes all, all over the country. We're doing homes in Montauk, on Long Island, all the way to possibly one now in Hawaii. We've got one going in Montecito and, and, and San Diego, so it's a lot of fun. And all of these interesting clients have taught me so much along the way, and it's been a real cool ride. <clears throat> Never did I imagine during those days in drafting class in Durango, Colorado, that my career would take the path it has that I would meet and design homes for the people I have, or that there would be a night like tonight. Wow, it's amazing. You have all helped me along the way. As we all know, no person does it all. All of you have worked on my projects, you've all been a part of from drawing foundation details to pouring the concrete to laying the rebar, to fixing our screw-ups. I mean, come on. You guys are all amazing. It's all been a team effort. From my staff and all of those who have come through our doors to all those during my years at CCBG, you have all been an important part of my life and my career. For my career is my life, and my life is my career. There is no moment that I do not live and breathe design and architecture and the creation of my clients' homes. Trust me. I think about it night and day. Wake up at 2 in the morning, I'm texting Lori Hunter, telling her to do the chimney cap out of copper. I mean, yeah, we, there's a bunch of you I te text at 2 o'clock in the morning about strange things like that. Of course, no one knows this more than my family and my lovely wife, Isabel, who are all here tonight. I've got my dad, my mom, all my girls, um, 
Architecture has given us everything, and we have known, I, and I have no, known that it's taken many, of, out, many hours away from all of them, okay? And so now at age 55, it is time to start the process of handing the torch. I am blessed with the most amazing team at Candelaria Design. A number of them have been with me since the beginning, and several have been with me over 10 years. And we have all worked very hard over the course of the last 16 years, and one lesson I learned from my mentor, George Christensen, was to create a place, and a, I can't read this because I wrote all over the top of it, I could, <laughs> a place <laughs> and a firm that could live a lot long after I'm gone. For you see, there are those of us that, in the firm that also see this more than a job. It's their career and it's their life. And so tonight marks a milestone in what I dream will be the long history of Candelaria Design, as I would like to welcome and proudly announce my two new partners, Evelyn Jung and Vivian Ayala. Okay, my goal has been to create a lasting and meaningful company and share it with those who have helped build it and who have earned it. Well, Evelyn and Vivian have most definitely done that, trust me. They've been through everything. So, these two are amazing ladies. Vivian's been with me almost since the beginning, and I know some of you know her story. Um, I'll divert from my speech here a little bit, but I hired her, or she came and interviewed, and she could barely speak English. Uh, she was from Puerto Rico. She showed me her portfolio, and I'm looking at her, and I said, can you explain it? She's like, whatever, the drawings look really good. <coughs> And so I kind of said, you know, thank you, you did a nice job, and then I was off to Italy or wherever the hell I go. And uh, yeah, I come back two weeks later, and Vivian's sitting there working in the office. And I, and I walk in and I go, what's the, what's the Puerto Rican girl doing here? She came in the next day and said, you hired her. So I said, well, well how's she doing? She said, well, she's kicking butt. I said, let's keep her. That was 15 years ago, and she's still here, and anyone that's worked with Vivian knows what, kick, knows what kicking butt is all about, okay? Okay, then Evelyn's story is not much, it's not much different. We had a full-time person or, you know, someone running the front desk and doing all this stuff, and, and she got sick or something, so I said, well, get a temp, we need somebody, we need somebody here. So they got this temp, and she was, what, 21, 20, 21. 21. <clears throat> and they brought Evelyn in and like, okay, this is what we do, blah, 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 can you do it? She says, yeah, I got it. After three days, I'm like, you know what? The person who was working here is gone. She's staying. <laughs> and she's been here ever since. And how long has that been? Ten years. Ten years. <clears throat> so, so, and anyway, in doing so, we have initiated a structure that will allow for the addition of more partners as earned and warranted and will allow me to focus more directly on design here at Candelaria Design and pursue many other interests I have included, in, uh, including some of my special time with my wife, Isabel, and my daughters, Tiffany, Isabella, and Sophia. I'm not retiring and not moving into assisted living facility yet, <laughs> <laughs> although we're designing one now, so that's kind of fun. Maybe I'll get a smoking deal on a room or something. <clears throat> and I hope to design another thousand homes, travel many more times to Italy, and add trips to Spain and France, write some books, cookbooks included, paint and photograph, cook, cook for all of you at some point, share many bottles of wine and every once in a while a cigar, and give back to this profession that has given me so much over the course of whatever time God will give me. So trust me, I will, not, I will make the most out of every day, and I so look forward to many more creations and adventures with all of you. Thanks again for coming and sharing in this special evening, and let's have some fun.